My question is to the acting premier. This government continues to download the cost of childcare onto parents who are struggling during COVID-19. Parents continue to be charged or risk losing their child's spot if they are not able to make the difficult decision to send their child within 14 days. On the other hand, many childcare centers have been forced to close because of low enrollment, increasing deficits, and uncertainty of how this government will support them. Mr. Speaker, will this government finally step up and support the childcare sector that is hurting due to the lack of support from this government? Thank you. Minister of Education to reply. Well, thank you, Speaker. Mr. Speaker, our government has provided unprecedented access of investment in PPE to our child care operators because we recognize for moms and dads of this province, they need to have reliable access and affordable access to child care. Now, Speaker, when we came to power two years ago, we inherited the most expensive child care as a consequence of the former Liberal government. But, Mr. Speaker, we recognize for parents we have to do more. It's why we are investing on an annual basis $2 billion to support our operations, a $1 billion to, build, to construct 30,000 new childcare spaces, 10,000 of which will be within our schools. We have a care tax credit, the children's uh, a child care tax credit, that is supporting parents up to 75% of eligible expenses. And just a week ago, I stood with my federal counterpart, Minister Ahmed Hussein, to announce an additional $234.6 million in a safe restart to our child care sector to backstop them and to support them as they go through this unprecedented challenge. Speaker, we have provided them with more funding, with PPE, Spons. with training and clear protocol, and we'll continue to be there for our parents, for our operators, and of course for our kids in this province. Thank you. <laughs> Supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we continue to hear press conferences after press conferences where the minister re-announces the same inadequate funding that came from the federal government. Child care centers, workers, parents have continued to express their concern that they are being kept in the dark about how this government will support the child care sector that takes care of our children. Will this government commit to being transparent with the parents of this province, the child care workers and the operators about what kind of support they will be receiving and when? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Again, Minister of Education reply. Well, Speaker, I'm proud to report that child care operators are not waiting for investment. They have received investment every step of the way through this pandemic. Mr. Speaker, at the very beginning, at the very beginning of this challenge, we ensured that operators had additional uh, supports, stabilization funding, essentially to backstop them given the reduced amount of students or kids within our child care centers and the increased costs borne on our operators. We gave them that support. We expanded PP per, uh, uh, financing and funding for them. And of course, Speaker, we provided clear guidance that developed by the medical community and endorsed by the Chief Medical Officer of Health. Every step of the way, we've been, been there for our child care operators. And we want parents to know in this province, we will continue to do everything we can to ensure labor market access, to ensure women, most notably, can participate in the economy and to make sure that their children remain safe along the way.